In this video, we're going to look at the difference between a guide and a workflow. At the left is a guide, and at the right is a workflow. Now, at the left, I've opened up the Passage Guide, which is available in most Logos Bible software packages. And at the right, I've opened Basic Bible Study. You'll notice first that both need a Bible verse in order to run the report. Very key. Now, Passage Guides do have topic and subjects that you can enter in, as well does workflows. So this information in the box will be determined by whatever guide or workflow you open. Now below that, you're gonna get the content. Now the one big difference between a guide and a workflow is the information that you're given. The purpose of a guide is to supply you information that already exists in your library. And the purpose of a workflow is for you to gather the information and then make notes within the workflow. So that's the huge difference. Another way of looking at this is a guide is going to organize the information from your library, where a workflow is going to organize the steps for you to go into your library and study information. So you can see one is really bringing the information to you. The other is you're getting the information and bring it in to the report. There are many variety of guides and many varieties of workflows, so each one is a little bit different. But there are a couple other nuances I think are important to understand. So in a guide, you do have the options to add notes. You can see here there's an add note button. When you click it, you can type that information in. If we go over to our workflow, you may or may not be able to enter notes depending on how that workflow was constructed. Now here it says your observations, so we could type that in, and now that note is stored. Now the question is, where do these notes go? Now, if we float our mouse over the note icon here at the passage guide and we click on it, we do have an option, open in notes and delete this note. So remember, anything you type in, you can remove, but Logos gives you a link to the note file. So let's click on open in notes and you'll see the note window is open at the right and we can see that it's been placed as a general note. So the note's been created. Notice it says commentaries because that's the section in the passage guide. Ephesians 2.8 is the passage, but if you look at the top, you'll notice that the notebook has not been set. In other words, this is just a general note, and really the only way to get to it is right here through the specific passage guide. Therefore, in order to retrieve a note, it's easier just to reopen the passage guide, put in your verse, and run it, and you'll get the note that way, or going into your note file and look for the recent note. That's a little more difficult. Now, in the case of the workflow, you can see once again, we have the note icon to the right. If we click it, we still have the same menu options. If we click open in notes and expand it, you'll see there's a little bit of a difference. The workflow creates a notebook with the name of the workflow with the passage you're studying and the note is placed in there. So that's a whole lot easier to find if you go to your notebook and search on the passage. So be aware of the different ways in which Logos stores notes for these documents. Let's go ahead and close the note files for both of these items. And let me resize the windows. By the way, guides and workflows can be customized to your personal preferences. Guides are a lot easier to set up than workflows. So you're probably looking at a probably a five to 10 to one difference in effort to create a workflow versus creating a custom guide. Well, that's a quick overview between the differences. So in summary, guides are there to gather information and workflows guide you through a process to study information. And many times you have to go find that information.